Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for January 18th, 2022. Well, my goodness, on Friday, we chose to ignore the bad economic data that kept rolling out throughout the morning and chose to buy the dip and rally the market back up. Unfortunately, those folks looks like they might get a little bit punished here this morning buying that dip with a reversal back down. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Looks like this morning we have kind of a nasty um, overnight reversal with the market gapping lower substantially as oil prices surge and bond prices surge higher. It's creating some pressure here in the market and unfortunately it's likely to create some significant technical damage in the chart. We combine that with the beginning of first quarter earnings season as we really start to ramp up. And oh my gosh, we have the possibility of a perfect storm of price volatility that could challenge even the most experienced trader. So let's take a look at what we've got in these charts after last week and let's see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market today. First off, if we take a quick look, you can notice right here we did make a lower high here in the diamonds. But as of Friday, we held on to this trend just ever so slightly and that bounce back rally pushed the Dow back above its 50 day moving average. Unfortunately, those who rushed in buying um, look like we're going to have kind of a painful open for those folks this morning pushing on down. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here support and resistance wise. As you can see, we've created a pretty substantial resistance level up here with a little potential of a little teeny tiny head and shoulders type type top, but we're failing these resistance levels here in the chart. And unfortunately this morning with this gap down, not only will we have a lower high, we may potentially have a lower low actually completing and confirming a potential downtrend in the chart. Now we have some price support in this chart, as you can see, right across this area right here. So maybe not all is lost if those buy the dip buyers come rushing back in again today. We've got some support right in here, but unfortunately, if that were to fail, then this could look get pretty brutal here. Um, over the days um, in the days ahead so watch that carefully we do have other price support down in here if we happen to fail through this level so watch that closely now what that means is the diamond's going to join you can see breaking down below its 50-day moving average in the pre-market the diamonds is going to join the spy the qqq and iwm already below their 50-day moving average let's take a look at that spy spy Breaking down here this morning just a little bit, showing a full reversal of Friday's by the dip rally. But the good news here in this chart is that although we've got a lower low, at this point, we're not showing a, um, a lower high, I mean. We're not showing a lower low just yet. As a matter of fact, we kind of show that possibility that we could hold a little bit of price support right in this area. So if we can hold that price support, that may be significant enough to bring out those bulls and try to push us back up. A lot is going to depend on how these earnings roll out today, how much pressure we put on this, and if those bonds continue to rise, that could be problematic here for the market. Now keep in mind, we have tested this level down in here before, just not that long ago. And that possibility is if we fail this little support level right through here a test of this level down here looks possible and let's keep in mind that is below a 50-day moving average and what we could be seeing here is that failure where we push back and fail underneath that 50-day moving average so watch that closely oftentimes when we see a pattern like this we will seek out that 200-day moving average eventually so 
I uh, can't say that's going to be the case this time because of earnings season, but we're going to want to watch that pretty carefully. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ we know has been in a, well, it's had some trouble uh, for sure and for certain, and we can see it is continuing to move down and maybe even sharpen its decline to the downside. Now one thing I will say is a downcline that gets too sharp can't be sustained all that long. But but this reversal this morning could be pretty painful for those who jumped in on Friday. Now let's keep in mind what we're showing here is that possibility that we may reject this price support level right in here. We push back above it on Friday and now we may reject that and that opens up the door for the possibility of a test, retest down in this zone of the chart. Now if we take a quick look at that we'll notice that that is not quite to the 200 day moving average and I think this pattern is starting to suggest that failure underneath the 50 that possibility that the Nasdaq may very well test that 200 day moving average in the coming days. So watch that pretty carefully. Kind of an ugly pattern here in the NASDAQ as we look right now. And then if we take a look at that SPY, SPY, whoops, or I mean IWM. If we take a look at that IWM, IWM managed to hold on on Friday. We pushed down into this low area here and bounced off of that. And so far this morning, we're not showing that willingness to gap below that area. And that may be a little bit of help here for the market. So keep an eye on this. We still have this downtrend and though we are kind of oversold in the short term here, we could still wind around in this area. One of the things I want to um, caution everyone is if we were to fall through here, I want you to notice there's not a whole lot of support, price support down through this area and that could be devastating. So watch that closely if that were to occur. Now keep in mind, if we can hold this support, we may see those buyers try to pick this back up, but there's nothing about this chart that's bullish. Let's take note that the 50 day is starting to cross down through the 200 day. That is the death cross here on the IWM setting up. We'll want to keep a pretty close eye on that and be really, really careful here. This is not looking bullish at all. And then let's take a look at our um, economic, uh, excuse me, let's take a look at our VIX. When we take a look at our VIX, on VIX Friday, we pushed up early in the day and then backed off. And I got to imagine that this morning's gap down could be a little bit problematic here in the VIX. As a matter of fact, we run that possibility that the VIX could break that downtrend here, holding that higher low and possibly putting in that higher high here today. So we'll want to watch that closely. Now we've seen a lot of back and forth in this market. So just because we gap one direction doesn't mean it'll be sustained throughout the day. We could also whipsaw and go back the other direction. But let's watch this pretty closely. We'll probably be above the 20 handle here at the open today with those bond, ri um, bond prices rising pretty dramatically. So we'll want to keep a pretty close eye on this. It's not a good situation here for our market right at the moment. And then if, let's take a look at our T2122. If there is any sign for some hope, on Friday on our gap down, we were approaching down here in our bearish reversal zone and then that rally back, that by the dip bat rally that surged everything back up, um, pushed us right back up here uh, toward that mid range. But let's keep an eye on this. A gap down this morning like this could very quickly put us into that oversold condition in the short term. And that means we could see if we find some reason for inspiration, those bulls could step up here a little bit and try to push us back to the upside. But let's watch that carefully. Good chance we could be experiencing some pain here down here in that bullish reversal zone um, shortly after the open or very near that time period. So watch that closely. Our T2108 gave us a little bit of warning yesterday um, on Friday in that our T2108, whoops, let's get to a daily here. Our T2108, 
God's sake. There we go. Our T2108 had a little bit of a pullback yesterday. So it gave us that little bit of a hint that, doggone it, um, we're not holding those stocks um, to the upside here. Um, we continue to run in this downtrend here on um, the number of stocks above their 40-day moving average. And that is a little bit problematic. Now, the, there is some positive here as well. We're holding on to a little bit of price support. At least we did on Friday. Unfortunately, I think there is that good possibility that could break this morning. And that runs us into a little bit more of a problem here where we could see start seeing those failing patterns really starting to pick up in stocks so watch that close and then if we take a look at t2107 t2107 also had a little bit of a pullback there on friday although we tried to rally up we had fewer stocks holding above their 200 day moving average now again there is still some hope here notice we're still holding on to some price support at least at the close of friday my guess is this morning we're going to see that potential level break. Now, I don't know that that's going to be a terrible problem as long as we don't break down below here again. But notice that we're continuing to run in this downtrend. We're not getting the support we need from a lot of these stocks. So there could be some trouble here today. Watch that close. And then let's take a look at our... Um, um, economic calendar for today. Sorry guys, so let's take a look at our economic calendar. Our economic calendar, um, we've got a couple of things that we're gonna wanna be paying attention to, but nothing major today on that calendar. Notice we have Empire State Manufacturing numbers, we've got Housing Market Index, and neither one of these are particularly market moving unless they were to really surprise. So we'll keep an eye on that. It may be wise to start keeping an eye on some of these shorter term bond auctions um, today. If they really start to spike up, that could be a problem for the market. Now keep in mind, tomorrow we've got those housing starts. We'll want to watch that closely. Um, housing starts have started to diminish just a little bit and um, we've seen mortgage applications decline pretty sharply and I suspect with a rising the threat of a rising um, um, interest rate from the Fed could start impacting those numbers soon so keep an eye on those and then we've got our normal jobless claims Philly Fed um, existing home sales on Thursday virtually nothing on Friday so our economic calendar not real heavy here but we have a very 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 busy week on the earnings calendar. We've got quite a few, just short of 30 companies listed on the calendar today that um, will be reporting and um, we're going to start hitting some of those um, um, well, big notables that can move us around substantially. So let's take a look at some of those notables for today on that earnings calendar. Let's take a look. We've got BAC. BAC will be reporting today. We're going to see uh, BlackRock reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that. We're going to get JB Hunt. That'll be reporting today. We'll hear from PNC Financial here today. Um, and just several others uh, like ONB will be reporting. So we're going to have some some banks, a little bit of mix in here with other things. So please keep in mind, guys, if you want to catch that full list of notables, you may want to go back to the morning blog and you can just click that link right below the title of the video. And it would be a good idea to start getting used to that because as we ramp up in earnings, there'll be way more stocks that will be reporting that are notable that I can, I can um, reasonably cover. So uh, keep that in mind. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And please keep in mind, guys, that these are not, these are not videos that uh, um, I want to suggest no hype, 
no drama, no prediction. All I'm trying to do is look at the technicals of the chart, look at the price action of the chart. And for me, that has provided me a great career in trading. And if you guys find this to be helpful, if you could also click those thumbs up buttons, leave that brief con um, comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And if you feel um, like it's worth sharing it out there, please do share it out there on your social feed so other folks can find us. Maybe they can get some help um, in preparing their trading day as well. Now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but please keep in mind guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I want to suggest that today, Maybe one of those days to put your hands in your pockets and stand aside. We could see an awful lot of volatility as these bonds gyrate around, as oil prices spike, and as we hit this earnings environment. Remember, earnings create a lot of volatility on their own. When we throw in the uncertainty of a hawkish Fed, we throw in very high valuation of stocks, which means that earnings are going to have to perform unbelievably well to support these pro, uh, prices. When we see in our economic data the potential of a slowing economy starting to occur, and we start adding all of these things up and it spells a perfect storm of price volatility. So if you're not a very experienced trader and if you've been suffering um, here recently because of the wild volatility, um, I would be a little bit careful and cautious because I think the possibility that could only get stronger over the next couple of weeks with these wild gyrations. We want to look for whipsaws. We want to look for overnight reversals. We want to be really, really careful. It is not a time for high speculation. It is a time to exercise caution. Don't become complacent. Make sure you're focusing carefully on the setups of a trade. Now, that being said, let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up um, and take a, take a quick look at where we might find some good quality trades. Let's take a look at Verizon here. Now, Verizon has been moving up in this nice little upside trend. Now, I know this is a boring stock, and what you're going to find is a lot of the stocks I'm going to talk about today are relatively boring stocks. Now, when we start showing fear in the market, when we start getting uncomfortable in the market, um, traders, and we've been talking about this over the last few weeks, even institutions have been rotating into dividend playing, paying stocks, looking for a little bit of additional safety. And you, as you can see here, we've got a good forward dividend yield on Verizon here, and we have a pattern where we've broken through resistance, we're holding in a trend. Now, this bearishness this morning could easily get everything could get caught up in this so i'm not going to say this is going to be the time to buy this but watch these closely if they start to garner some support here because folks are looking for a little bit of safety right now with all of this uncertainty in the market and then if we take a look at like at&t at&t is another here that's been moving up strongly in an upside trend and as you can see it's been holding up very very well breaking through resistance levels and now pushing into some additional resistance that it may break through here soon so watch that carefully um, in some of these stocks how about Mondelez um, these um, these old boring companies looks like we're gonna get a big old bearish engulfing on this this morning or a big gap down I should say in that pre-market this started up on Friday it looks like it's gonna get caught up in the selling here this morning but watch these closely these a lot of these defensive sector stocks have been moving up quite strongly and showing lots of support take a look at stocks like BMY BMY setting up in here in a nice little pattern. Place a price alert up in here 
and maybe wait and see if that stock can continue to fill this area out and pop and go in there. You could also put Merck in that list. You can see I've already placed a price alert on Merck and I've been watching this in this nice little consolidating move out here toward trend waiting for that next opportunity in that stock. As you can see, I called this one in here as well, and I know quite a few folks profited from that move. So let's just watch, wait and see, be patient for these trades to come along. Um, take a look at um, stocks like Visa. Now Visa has been struggling in here quite a bit, and we're pushing up toward this downtrend in the chart. So I can't tell you if this is going to be one of those where we can actually push through that level and hold or if we're going to run up in here and potentially fail this is one of those tr trades that could go either direction and I got to tell you guys it may be wise to start looking at a little bit of long trade a little bit of short trade at the same time as we push around here in these charts so kind of keep that in mind you may also want to be paying attention to some of the inverse plays take a look at like um, um, SH. SH is a inverse of the S&P 500 and it's not a leveraged, um, it's a single, single um, inverse on that chart. Notice this is breaking above its 50-day moving average in here. So if we were to hold above this 50-day moving average, this creates that rounded bottom breakout pattern that I like to trade over and over and over. This may be a good place to go if you want to pick up some hedge. You could also look at RWM. Now the reason I'm talking about these, um, these um, single um, inverse or they're not double and triple is the volatility of this market over the next few days could be really high and so maybe trading something without a huge amount of leverage gives you that nice hedge to the market so take a look at stocks like rwm take a look at stocks at like um, um, qid might be a place this is an ultra short you could look at um, you could look at dog for the dow to try and pick up a little bit of inverse just in case this market really starts to show problems or weaknesses um, overall so watch that carefully so with that guys hey i'm going to call this an end to today and i want to wish you guys all a fantastic day in your trading and once again i want to caution everyone look for quite a little bit of volatility quite a little bit of whipsaw if you're not experienced in the market if you've been suffering here lately in the tr in the market stand aside protect your capital remember the market's going to be open tomorrow the next day the day after that the day after that and so we don't have to risk money every single day when we don't have an edge so everyone have an awesome day we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.